Welcome back to Geordie Motorsports. Today I'm going to do a short video on uh, project walkarounds and show you what will be in store for Geordie Motorsports and you can let me know what you want to see first. So let's get to it. So first up we have this 2014 FGXR6. It's in fantastic condition. It's manual has 76,000 kilometers on the clock. The only issue is is that it has had a hit on the driver's side in the quarter panel. It's been repaired. It's hard to see, but the paint isn't the best on it, but I know a painter that can fix it up. Me. <laughs> um but yeah, it's already manual. It's got a TR6060 in it. It's got all the premium sound and whatnot. Bit of overkill for a drift car. That front bumper bar is for sale. It's a, obviously an FPV front bumper. I can throw in the headlights for more. Um, so yeah, if you were to buy it off me, $1,500. I can post it to your expense. I can even knock some money off if you're a good person but um yeah so that's car number one car number two BAXR6 turbo don't mind the tires I had to do a gender reveal last weekend as you can see it was a little girl left of them but this thing needs a ton of work sunroof needs to be fixed lots of interior work as you can see previous owners have no idea what they were trying to do here it does run battery is in it as you can hear the engine is hurt Number four only has 60 com, or it should be around 200, but yeah, I like it. So, yeah, car number two. I have a uh, built bar in my shed that I'll be putting into this. So, yeah, should we work on this one or what? Now, car number three, DQ Patrol Ute. Planning to do a barrack conversion with this. So it's a pretty good ute the whole way around. It's factory coil all the way around. That's why I brought it, because it's coil. As you know, coils aren't really the easiest utes to find in a patrol and in good condition. Yeah, would you like to see a barrier in this? Here we have car number four. BAXR6 sedan. The plan is, this is gonna be the new drift car. I'm gonna be retiring the ute as it has a bit of a bent chassis in it. So I can't use it anymore. Well, I can, but yeah, so I'll be putting all of the manual stuff into this thing. Planning to take it to Locktober eventually. Well, Locktober, end of this year. Obviously in October. <laughs> but would you like to see me do all the manual conversion and <clears throat> set it up for drifting and whatnot in this? So here's something cool I've been wanting to show you guys. It's an old V8 Super U that was raced around Australia. You get a load of that for a roll cage, eh? It's got the cams approved ID tag over there. It's rough, but the plan is to probably throw a barra turbo or something like this into there. 
I'll probably drift it and then possibly end up selling it or I'll even sell it how it is now. So if you really want it, just flick me a message and I can probably see what I can do. But yeah, she's not in the best condition as you can see. Bit of bog. What cars don't have bog in them though? But yeah, that roll cage is bloody fantastic. It's got the body loom and all that sort of stuff in there. Would you like to see that? As a drift car. It'd be pretty cool, I reckon. A barrow turbo on it, five speed. Probably six speed, but yeah. yeah car number six. VK Commodore. It's got a fuel injected 202 red motor in it goes pretty good it's sitting right here in the block because it ran out of fuel um but would you like to see me turn this into a pretty good setup dirt circuit car to use around the back if you have a look at a uh, pattern Natch tv there's a episode of this racing against the vt commodore and this he did a pretty good job most important thing on a car that everyone should have all pressure gauge can't go wrong with that but yeah <laughs> like my fuel cell set up an old skyline tank might need to get that fuel pump out because I might need it for something else but yeah would you like to see this car number six car number seven my R31 silhouette Five speed, plan to put a turbo and whatnot on it. Already got that sitting in my shed. Might paint it, but yeah, it's not for sale. That one's for sale, that's not. So if you want to buy that off me, flick me a message and I'll give you some details on it. It's manual, RB30, needs paint. Put fuel in it and a battery, it'll start, but yeah. What's he doing over there? Old Uncle Brent. He's my dad, but yeah, Uncle Brent. <laughs> you want to see that instead? So as you've seen, I've got many projects. I'm not too sure what one to do first, or what one to put on YouTube. So you've got me VK or me CH there. So let me know in the comments. <clears throat> what car you want to see on the channel, what you want to see more of. Um, I don't really often say this much, but if you want to see more things happen, just like and subscribe, because it helps me out a lot. Um, so yeah, give me three cars that you want to see on the channel, and I'll do my best to get some more videos out for you. All right, so yeah, please, Feel free to like and subscribe to me and flick me a message and I'll post you out a sticker if you like and subscribe to me. <laughs> so I've got heaps of stickers. So if you can do the favour of putting it on Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff, do it. Tag me. I'll always reply. I'll do my best to always reply. But yeah, thanks for watching the video of me walking around me projects. Try and keep it nice and short, but yeah. All right. Look out for your mates and cheers for watching, guys. See you later on. Bye.